As food trucks grow in popularity in the Triangle, some towns are considering creating restrictions for them. Fuquay Verena proposed banning food trucks in commercial areas after some restaurants complained, saying they're hurting business. But now the town may be easing up on that proposal after a food truck advocate spoke out. WNCN's David Hurst has our story. Chicken pimento. Tony Hudson has been in the food business for over 30 years. A little flame for the camera. How's that? He recently opened his own food truck and spends most of his time set up in Fuquay Verena. If they were to ban food trucks in Fuquay, it would be a major impact on my business. Just six months after the town approved food trucks in Fuquay, the town proposed to ban them from all commercial areas. The town drafted the proposed ban after some brick and mortar restaurants expressed some concerns. The concern obviously is is if uh, you know it's a busy Friday night and I'm I'm counting on that rush of customers, I have a food truck that's parked, you know, even within the, the range allowed, um, that maybe they're, they're taking away some of my business um, uh, as, a, as a restaurant. While some restaurants are against food trucks, many businesses say they welcome them because it attracts more people here to downtown and enhances the local restaurant scene. It's been the trend in other cities in the Triangle as food trucks have grown in popularity and many cities in the area host food truck rodeos. Town officials say the massive support for food trucks has them strain away from an outright ban. So I think it was important that we kind of uh, step back a little bit and take some time, look at some other options. Kung Lao for Jeff. It has food truck owners like Tony Hudson hopeful the town can find some middle ground. I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, don't be afraid of the competition. The town plans on revisiting the issue on February 15th. Reporting in Fuquay, Verena, David Hurst, WNCN News Now.